Hey star seeds! I'm so excited today because I'm going to be showing you how to make the most delicious vegan ice creams that you have ever tasted in your life and I'm going to be giving you five delicious flavors that are going to knock your socks off. Before we get into the video, I just want to remind y'all to subscribe to the channel because I'm here giving you amazing vegan recipes on a weekly basis and we are freeing all beings one recipe at a time, guys. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know which ice cream flavor you like the best. So these vegan ice cream recipes are so easy to make and I'm so excited to share them with you because each recipe that we're gonna do uses the same exact base, okay, for all five of the ice cream flavors. For each recipe, we're gonna be using frozen bananas, vanilla bean powder, and some vegan yogurt. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to make the first ice cream flavor, which is Berry Burst Vanilla Ice Cream. So to your food processor, you're going to add six frozen chopped bananas, half a cup of vegan yogurt of your choice, one teaspoon of vanilla bean powder, and assorted frozen berries. So all you're gonna do, everyone, is blend all of these ingredients up until smooth and creamy. Now you can eat this right out of the food processor or you can put it in a Tupperware and put it into the freezer. So how easy was that, everybody? You're gonna get a beautiful, berry burst flavor that is super delicious, vegan, and also refined sugar-free. Sugar-free, just you're getting all that sweetness from the bananas and the berries, so that's it. So next up, we have my mint cookies and cream flavor, and this is just so incredibly delicious. You guys are gonna love this. Let's go make it. So to your food processor, you're going to once again place the base of the recipe, which is six frozen bananas, half a cup of yogurt, and one teaspoon of vanilla bean powder. To your base, you're going to add a drop or two of mint extract, one teaspoon of spirulina. Now we're using spirulina because it's gonna turn our ice cream green. So now you're gonna mix all that up until smooth and creamy, and then you're just going to put in your 200 grams of Oreos, and you're just going to pulse it once or twice. You don't, you really want big chunks in this ice cream. You don't want to blend all the cookies up. So just pulse it and then pour it into your container and put it in the freezer and let it chill. Or you can just eat it out of the food processor. So if you read the ingredients on the back of an Oreo package, the ingredients are in fact vegan, but actually I read recently that um, they may contain milk because in the factories, you're gonna get this cross-contamination of milk in the Oreos, okay? So for those of you who don't wanna use Oreos, you can go ahead and use whatever vegan cookie that you desire. So next up is one of my favorite flavors, and that is the strawberry cheesecake ice cream that we're gonna be making. So this recipe has two more extra steps, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. So first, we're gonna go ahead and make the strawberry swirl sauce. To a saucepan, you're gonna add 500 grams of fresh strawberries, the juice of one and a half lemons, and a quarter cup of agave nectar. So you're just gonna put it on medium heat for about 25 minutes, and you're gonna mash it with a masher, and you're just gonna whisk it occasionally until it reduces in volume, and then you're gonna let it cool. So you're gonna let your strawberry sauce cool, and now we're going to be making the strawberry cheesecake crust. So for the cheesecake crust, you're going to add to your food processor two and a third cup of oats, a third cup of almond flour, a third cup of walnuts, seven pitted medjool dates, and four teaspoons of coconut oil. So you're gonna go ahead and blend that up until the dough is able to stick between your fingers. So once you've blended all that up, you're just going to place it in a bowl and set it aside. So now guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna assemble everything together so that we can make this delicious strawberry cheesecake ice cream. So once again, we are using the same exact base, which is the frozen bananas, a half a cup of yogurt, and also one teaspoon of vanilla bean powder. So you're gonna blend all those ingredients up until smooth and delicious. You're gonna sprinkle on this delicious uh, cheesecake crust, and then you're gonna take your strawberry sauce and you're gonna drizzle it all over, and then you're just gonna go ahead and mix it around once that's done, you're gonna put in your cream cheese and make sure that it's vegan and also make sure that it is at room temperature. Mix it up once again, and then you can just put it into your freezer and let it firm up. Guys, this so does taste like cheesecake and the best part about it is that it's vegan. Next up, we are going to be making this delicious chocolatey brownie chunk flavor. 
to your food processor, you're going to add in the same base as the other recipes, and then you're going to add in a quarter cup of raw cacao powder, and then you're gonna mix that up until smooth and creamy, and then you're gonna go ahead and add in your two thirds of a cup of walnuts and these delicious brownie chunks. And then you're just gonna go ahead and mix it around with a knife. Also, if you're looking for a brownie recipe, I've got an amazing homemade avocado fudge brownie recipe that you guys are gonna love. If you don't wanna make your own um, brownies at home, you can go ahead and just go out and get um, any vegan brownie that you prefer. So in this recipe, I'm using store-bought chocolate organic energy bars. So you can eat this right out of the food processor or you can go ahead and pour it into a Tupperware and stick it in the freezer and let it really firm up so that you can scoop it out with your ice cream, ice cream scooper. So for the final flavor, we are gonna be making this delicious pecan caramel ice cream. The first thing we're gonna do is make the caramel for this recipe. To your food processor, you're going to add in your 10 medjool dates. Make sure they're pitted. Four tablespoons of almond butter, two tablespoons of water, and two tablespoons of agave nectar. And all you're gonna do is blend that up until smooth and caramelly. Once your caramel is ready, you're gonna set it aside, and to your food processor, you're gonna put in, once again, the base ingredients. And you're gonna blend those up until smooth and creamy, and then you're gonna pour it into a Tupperware, and you're gonna add in a quarter cup of pecans, a half cup of cacao nibs, and then you're gonna pour in all of that delicious caramel goodness. And with a knife, you're just going to swirl it around so you get that kind of caramel swirl effect. So once again, you can go ahead and eat it out of the Tupperware or the food processor, or you can just stick it into the freezer and let it firm up and get all nice and ice cream-y. <laughs> Okay guys, so those are the five delicious flavors that I've made up for you this week. Please leave a comment down below and let me know which flavor you like the most and why. Also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel because we are here giving you weekly vegan recipes and we together are freeing all beings one recipe at a time. So don't forget to hit that like button and I'm gonna see you guys next week.